Estamos aqui na conferência da Intel e essa conferência vai ser em VR, olha só. A gente está aqui com óculos Rift. Né? A conferência vai ser toda. Todo em VR não, mas ele vai pedir pra gente colocar durante o, o evento, entendeu? E tirar o óculos Rift. Então vamos lá, vamos ver o que acontece. So during this press event, we're going to take you on what we think is the center of this data explosion. We're going to have you experience some of these next generation experiences. We're going to go on a VR journey to really illustrate how the power of compute and in this incredible content will deliver an immersive VR experience to each and every one of you. All of those things are about exploring the world around us. A VR makes it possible to do this, to have these experiences like you're really there and yet be in the comfort of your living room. Now, once you put on your headsets, this will be your world. I want you to look around. You're going to see some fellow travelers. That's what I'll call them for right now. Uh, and I really want you to, to get into this experience. So go ahead and put on your headsets. Able to look all around you in any direction. For the last 20 years, Uh, video has been basically the same. You know, we watch it on a flat screen. Some of them have started to become curved. Uh, we've been improving the resolution. We've gone, you know, up to 4K video now. We may have 360 video where you can have a single position and you can rotate around that. But all of that's been locked from a single point of view uh, with an individual camera. Uh, we want to take video to the, really, the next step. We want you to be able to walk around while the video is actually playing. HyperVR has a very specific singular mission to advance and evolve the concept of what video actually is at its core to move it from that flat screen or just look around and be tapped in space world that we're in VR but actually fully take you to where VR is going. We're going to have the audience engage in what we believe is the world's first walk around video experience on the Bang Yok waterfall in Vietnam. And as you move a little bit from side to side, feel free to stand up if you're comfortable, but be careful, because you're tethered. And you can see the water buffalo uh, wrangler there behind. And if you move a little bit from side to side, you see how everything changes in the world. Like that, yeah. Just be careful of the wires, but you've got it. Some of you are really going for it, which is great. And you see how everything is changing, just like it would in the actual real world. This isn't CGI. This is not a simulation. This is really actually captured material at a very high frame rate, very high fidelity, which requires massive amounts of computing because every single frame of this video is three gigabytes per frame as you look around. So you can imagine the computing power that's needed. And really, Intel is the only one that can help us pull this off. So. Today, I'm going to make you all uh, solar panel inspectors. Okay? Now, this is a solar panel array that has to be inspected regularly. This is a live feed off a drone. We will be inspecting those solar panels real time. Truly, we believe in these kinds of experiences, for inspections, for search and rescue, for life-saving activities, for dangerous work. It can save lives, it can save money, and it can save time. So let's switch gears and talk about how Intel is going to transform the experience of sports and entertainment. Virtual reality and this full volumetric capability is going to impact uh, traditional sports. This is our all-in-one merged reality system that we call Project Power. It's an immersive experience, and thanks to Intel RealSense technology, everything is in the headset itself. You need no other setup. You simply put this on, turn it on, and you're ready to go. On this headset, we have two real sense cameras built in. We have integrated computing built into the system, vision accelerators, and the battery, all in this weight balanced, comfortable, untethered, all in one headset. We believe that the future of virtual reality is here, and that the possibilities are endless for what Alloy can deliver. I'd like to take a look at the room behind us here. It's like a typical living room you'd have in your house or your apartment. Now, the first thing I want you to notice, there's no sensors in that room. Those of you who have played VR before, typically you either have laser sensors in the corner or tracking cameras just like you have on tables in front of you. But with Project Alloy, we have seamless tracking built right into the headset. So, no needed extra hardware. No cables attached to them. So, playing is completely untethered, 
They're able to move around the room freely, not tied to their computer. And now we have a great sky view. Now we're truly in a gaming environment that took us completely out of our living room. The system can work both ways. In this case, we brought the real world into virtual world and then transformed the real world. You can also look through the system and take the real world and put a virtual world in it. So you could have taken one of those aliens and had them sitting on your couch and talking to you. We're allowing anybody who wants to build on this hardware to build. We will give the instructions, the software, everything. Whatever anybody needs to build and manufacture these systems, we want to see this because we believe it really brings that creativity and those experiences to where they need to be. And it's powered by the compute.